Lesson 1, Election System Are you planning on voting? Yes, what about you? Yes, but this will be my first time voting. Really? Yes, and I have no idea how to do it. Voting is simple. I don't know any of the laws they're trying to pass. That's okay. They describe everything on the ballot. I didn't know that. Don't worry. You'll be fine. That's good to know. Congratulations on your first voting day. Lesson 2. Election System Are you going to vote? I am. Are you? Yes, and for the first time. Is that right? I don't know how to vote. Voting isn't difficult. I'm not sure what laws are being voted on. They tell you everything on the ballot. They do? You'll be okay. Thanks for telling me. You should be excited about your first vote. Lesson 3, Election System Will you be voting this year? Of course. Will you? This is going to be my first time voting. Are you serious? I'm not sure what I'm doing. Voting is easy. I don't know anything about the bills or laws they're trying to pass. The ballot gives you all that information. Nobody told me that before. You have nothing to worry about. I'm so glad you told me that. Good luck on your first election. Lesson 4. Comments on the new president. Are you going to vote? Of course, are you? I plan to, but what day is the election? You should know that. Can you just tell me? The election is this Tuesday. Are you serious? I'm not kidding. It's a good thing I asked you. That should have been something you knew already. I couldn't remember. Whatever. Just make sure you go vote. Lesson 5. Comments on the new president. Will you be voting? I will. Will you be voting? Well, when is the election? You don't know that? I just don't know. It's this Tuesday. You can't be serious. Why would I joke? Thanks for telling me. You should have known already. I forgot. As long as you go vote, that's all that matters. Lesson 6. Comments on the new president. Are you going to vote? Yes, are you? Yeah, but what day are the elections? You don't know what day the elections are? That's why I'm asking you. They're this coming Tuesday. Really? Yes, I'm serious. Good thing you told me. I can't believe you didn't know when the elections were. It slipped my mind. You should watch the news more often. Lesson 7, Election Day Are you going to vote? Of course, are you? I plan to, but what day is the election? You should know that. Can you just tell me? The election is this Tuesday. Are you serious? I'm not kidding. It's a good thing I asked you. That should have been something you knew already. I couldn't remember. Whatever. Just make sure you go vote. Lesson 8. Election Day Will you be voting? I will. Will you be voting? Well, when is the election? You don't know that? I just don't know. It's this Tuesday. 
You can't be serious. Why would I joke? Thanks for telling me. You should have known already. I forgot. As long as you go vote, that's all that matters. Lesson 9, Election Day. Are you going to vote? Yes, are you? Yeah, but what day are the elections? You don't know what day the elections are? That's why I'm asking you. They're this coming Tuesday. Really? Yes, I'm serious. Good thing you told me. I can't believe you didn't know when the elections were. It slipped my mind. You should watch the news more often. Lesson 10, working at the polling place. Where are you going? I have to go to work. Going to work where? I'm working at the polling place. I didn't know you were working there this year. I work at the polling place every year. How did you get that job? I signed up for it online. That's really cool. It's a very cool job. Do they pay you a lot? They pay well enough. Lesson 11, working at the polling place. Are you going somewhere? I'm on my way to work. Where do you work? I work at the polling place. You didn't tell me you were working there this year. I do this every year. How'd you get that job? I applied online. That's interesting. I enjoy working there every year. How much do they pay? They pay just enough. Lesson 12, working at the polling place. Are you leaving? I'm going to work. You have a job? I'm going to work at the polling place. You're working there this year? I work there every year. How are you able to work at the polling place? I apply for the job online. Sounds like fun. It's a fun job. They don't pay a lot, do they? They pay enough. Lesson 13. Discussions after voting. You voted, right? You know I did. Who did you vote for? I voted for Obama, of course. Can you believe that he actually won? I knew he would win. I didn't think he would. He was the top candidate. I figured people wouldn't vote for him because he's African American. That just goes to show that America is finally turning over a new leaf. You are absolutely right. I'm excited that Barack Obama is our president. Lesson 14. Discussions after voting. Did you vote? Of course. Who was your vote for president? My vote was for Barack Obama. I didn't expect him to win. I had no doubt in my mind that he would win. What made you think that? Nobody could compete with him. I thought his race would have kept him from winning. Times are changing. That's true. I support our new president 100%. Lesson 15. Discussions after voting. Did you vote yesterday? I sure did. What candidate did you vote for? I voted for Obama. I'm shocked he actually won. I knew he would win. How do you know? He was the best candidate this year. What about him being black? 
I guess America is finally maturing. I think you have a point. I'm really happy. Lesson 16 Speaking negatively about the candidate. Are you going to vote? Yes, but not for the person you're voting for. Why not? I don't like him. What's wrong with him? He's not too smart. That's not true. I don't agree with his policies either. I think he is a great candidate. I don't think so. I think you should rethink your opinion about him. I have the right to my own opinion. Lesson 17 Speaking negatively about the candidate. Will you be voting? I won't be voting for the same person as you. Why? I really don't like your candidate. What's your problem with him? I don't find him very smart. He is smart. I also don't agree with his policies. He's a fabulous candidate. That's just your opinion. You shouldn't think poorly of him. I'm entitled to my own opinion. Lesson 18, speaking negatively about the candidate. You're voting, right? Yes, I am, but I'm not voting for who you're voting for. Why is that? I don't like that candidate. Why don't you like him? I do not find him to be very intelligent. He is very smart. He's not smart, and I don't agree with any of his policies. I think he's the best candidate. But I don't see what you see. You really shouldn't speak so negatively about him. I have my own opinion. Lesson 19, Interviewing a Voter I'm from Channel 5 News. How's it going? I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Ask away. First of all, did you vote today? I already voted. Who did you vote for? I'm not going to tell you. Why not? My vote is personal. I apologize for invading your privacy. What I can tell you is that I voted for our next President of the United States. Lesson 20, Interviewing a Voter I'm reporting from Channel 5 News. How are you doing? I want to ask you a couple questions. Go for it. Have you voted yet? I voted this morning. Who is your vote for president? I can't tell you that. Why can't you tell me? That is private information. I see. All I can tell you is our next president got my vote. Lesson 21, Interviewing a Voter I am a reporter from Channel 5 News. What's up? Could I ask you some questions? Sure you can. Did you vote today? I sure did. What candidate did you vote for? I can't disclose that information. Why is that? My vote is my own private business. I understand. I voted for our next president. Lesson 22, Fundraising for Campaigns We're asking for donations today. What are you collecting donations for? We're trying to raise money for the campaigns. How much are you planning on raising? As much as possible. What kind of fundraisers are you doing? We are going door to door. 
You should try actual fundraisers too. What else can we do? Try having a car wash or selling candy. I didn't think of that. I know. It'll also help you make more money. Lesson 23 Fundraising for Campaigns. We're trying to get donations. What are you getting donations for? We're getting donations for the campaigns. How much money are you looking to make? As much as we can. Are you doing different fundraisers? We're just going door to door. You should do something else. Do you have any suggestions? Try a car wash and selling candy. That is a good idea. You'll make more money that way. Lesson 24, Fundraising for Campaigns. Would you like to make a donation? Donations for what? It's for the campaigns. How much money are you trying to raise? It doesn't matter how much. What are you doing to raise money? We go door to door asking for donations. You should try other fundraisers. Like what? You can always wash cars and sell candy. That's a great idea. That'll help you make more money. Lesson 25, Meeting Candidate Before Voting. It's nice meeting you. It's nice to meet you too. I am happy to be speaking to a presidential candidate. Would you like to ask me anything? What do you feel about gay marriage? I think everyone has a right to love who they want. Would you legalize gay marriage? Yes, I would. Many people won't like that. I'm sure they won't, but that's my view on gay marriage. I really like you. I really appreciate that.